Hello, I, Dr. Vijay Chandra Jadla, welcomes you to today's session on Operating Systems Lab, Week 1. Today we are going to discuss related to the basic commands with examples. The prerequisite for this particular session is about having a general idea about the operating system, what is an interface, how an operating system will be an interface between user and the hardware, and how the user communicates with the hardware that is using the commands, what is a shell, how commands will be executed through shell, that is all about the Unix as well as operating system. The pre-request for this operating system, we have given some commands that what a student is understood should be info, should be written there. That means the basic commands will be there and a student should be able to write the functionality of that particular command. Just a brief discussion will be given here. Man is for the sake of the manual. Then comes to the who, what is the present who um, terminals, terminals will be there in Unix, who will indicate the which terminal it is using, we are using. Then comes to the PWD, which means the present working directory. So in Unix, we will work in different, different directories to identify the particular directory we are going to use the PWD. Then comes to the MKDIR, MKDIR is meant for make a directory so directories can be created by using a command known as mkdir then comes to the cat cat command is used to create the file with the content that means a file will be created by using the command cat and even to display the contents of a particular file cat will be generally used then comes to the touch command touch command is used to display the uh, to Create a file without any content, a touch, um, touch command is used. Then comes to the tar, TA or tar command, which is meant for, stands for the tape archive. It is used to create, it is used to create archives to extract the archive files. Then comes to MV, MV is meant for move, sort, you all know it is used for sorting, then LS to display the contents, uh, that is the files as well as the directories, then CH mode, CH mode is a command which is used to change the access mode of a particular file, whereas uh, every file will have in three modes of access, that is the execution, write as well as read, then comes to Head, head command is used to display the uh, top n number of the lines of the particular file. Its opposite uh, term is tail. Tail is used to display the lost numbers of the particular file, number of lines of the particular file. Then comes to date. Date is a command which is used to display the date. Ping, ping is a network based command which is used to troubleshoot for example network for example ping 192.168.1.2 then comes to echo, echo is used to display the contents when you are in EA editor the content will be in within the after echo within the double quotes whatever you write it will be displayed outside the shell that means outside the editor so echo is the command uh, which is generally used in shell, shell scripting. Then comes to cal. Cal is the command which is used to display the calendar. Then grip. Grip is a filter that uh, searches for a file for particular set of characters. Then comes to the in lab. Now we are going to discuss related to the in lab. Here the pro, uh, you, we are going to discuss the problem description that is Stanley wants to get started with their terminal commands in Linux. Help him out to perform the following set of statements. The statement first one is he wants to know the, his current directory that he is working with 
in the particular system. After identifying the current directory, he decides to create a folder on his desktop called Marvel. So, to create a folder on the desktop, what is the command we used previously is the mkdir and to identify the current directory we used is the pwd present working directory so here the answer is pwd which is which means the present working directory and mkdir which means the uh, make a directory so you are going to create a uh, identify the particular uh, path where you are and then you are going to create a, a directory which is known as M marvel then the second question is now now he wants to list out all the avengers of the marvel universe he adds the following set of avengers that is avengers.txt in avengers.txt these are the five avengers he is going to add that is iron man captain america thor hulk black window black window widow so the answer is you, are, you should enter into the Marvel since you created MKDIR by using MKDIR you created a Marvel now you are going to enter into the Marvel by using CD Marvel you are going to enter it and then next comes to the cat greater than symbol Avengers dot text by this command you can enter the data which here given and to close this particular cat cap symbol C that means uh, you will find it in the keyboard shift 6 uh, that is the cap symbol then C that uh, means uh, it will save in that particular text file then after adding the names displayed above the check uh, above check the names are inserted or not to check whether the names are really inserted or not again we can use the cat command cat avengers dot text by simply typing cat avengers dot text all the data will be displayed next uh, number d here stanley wants uh, to relocate the file avengers dot text to the marvel to the desktop after relocating the file give all the permissions to the user and group and give only read permissions that means he want to relocate that particular file avengers to text to the particular marvel uh, folder to the desktop but uh, he want to give only read permissions to it uh, so that th no one will do any modifications in that particular avengers.txt file so the answer is first we have to move the file for that purpose we are using mv and we are giving the paths then comes to cd to enter into the particular uh, avengers dot uh, to enter into the desktop we are using uh, cd desktop then comes to ls minus l avengers dot text that means it will display the content of avengers.txt that is then chmod774 avengers.txt this is the direct command where it will display the it will uh, give the only read permissions you can also uh, remove the write permissions by using chmod minus w avengers.txt by that you will remove the write permissions so there will be only the read permissions in that way also you can solve this particular problem next is ls minus l it will display the contents of the avenger.txt next comes to stanley now wants to add more avengers to the marvel add the following set of avengers dot text so now he want to add avengers but already the right command is removed so again you have to add the right command for it so five more uh, five more avengers were given so uh, black panther then Groot, then Captain America, then Captain Marvel, then Spider Man. So uh, he moved the Avengers dot text to the desktop, and uh, now uh, he wants to add some more data. So chmod previously we given minus w, 
so again plus w avengers dot text by that we are going to give the write permission then comes to cat greater than greater than avengers dot text then all this data you can give and by using the control c cap c you can save that next comes to even this all work can be done by using the vi editor which is the easiest way where you will use vi avengers dot text to open the vi editor and you are going to type the data in it and you are going to save the things by using wq okay so wq means colon wq which means that save and exit and the another way is the another way is without saving that is q exclamatory mark by using q exclamatory mark you can get out of it without saving then comes to the sort the names of the files in an order where the sort avengers dot text display the content so avengers dot text should be sorted so uh, here sort avengers dot text then sort avengers dot text is another file which creating so whatever you uh, sorted that will be stored there and you can see the content by using cat sort avengers dot text next next question is now stanley sends the first avenger from uh, sort avengers dot text to uh, vacanada dot text another file in the desktop as part of the machine kills trons after sending move the vacanada dot text to the marvel so here to display the contents of uh, uh, avengers dot text head minus 1 avengers dot text greater than vacanda dot text so that the data will be displayed there then comes to to know the status of the machine kill stones stanley pings the avengers dot text to the address 103.102.166.224 dot 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 with three packets of data so here we are using the ping command ping 103.102.166.244 dot 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 minus c3 so that we are going to ping them then if the if the pinning ping ping bidding because of successful then the date is to be echoed to the machine log which is to be included in the marvel directory which is created earlier so here the marvel mk dir marvel echo that will be displayed then marvel then machine dot log then cat the content will be displayed with the machine dot log by this uh, by this we completed the week 1 first problem so in next session we are going to discuss with the second problem of week 1 hope you all understood well thank you thanks a lot